What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now and now we have come to the fight that you have probably all been waiting for rufus shinra and dark star now this fight is right after the rude and elena boss fight you get no breathing room for this if you want to change your materia and equipment you can do so just after you defeat rude and elena you can hold square and you can change the materia setup for cloud i would highly suggest bringing wind materia with magnify for cloud apart uh, along with wind materia linked to uh, magic focus and wind materia linked to hp absorb even mp absorb if you can Apart from that, make sure you have Chakra equipped, then use enemy skill, bring enemy skill material as well and then the ATB stagger and ATB assist materials that you have. And the thing here, the trick here for Rufus Shinra is to watch him. You know, press X whenever he's sliding around the arena. When he does, you will, all you can, after some point, you will be able to detect that he's going to do an attack. And anytime he's going to do an attack, you hit him with a focus thrust. That will always break his attack and then you can move in for the kill. When you use focus thrust, when you hit him with a focus thrust, you can uh, unleash a whole combo on him with square and then use O and square. Like dodge and square, When because you are close to him, you will almost always hit him. There is another thing you can do whenever he is hitting reload. If you can hit him with a braver, it will do a lot of damage as well as stagger damage. It can even be an instant stagger. 
but that is very very tricky to pull off as you will be seeing in this video i am not able to pull it off but i am telling you if you see reload appear on the screen you you are already too late to use brave verb then because he is going to counter it anyway so don't try hitting it it is easier to use focus thrust on this guy just watch out for his attacks when he's sliding around the arena most of the times he'll slide and attack sometimes he will slide twice before attacking so that is all you have to watch out for press x to see when he's sliding if you see anything red appear before uh, on over his head just use focus thrusts and hit him and then that way you will get him the wind material we have brought is to make uh, make sure that we take care of dark star really quickly you should have a time material as well by the way i'm sorry i did not mention it so that you can uh, put haste on cloud so he charges his, builds up his atb faster and as soon as you uh, dark star enters the arena dark star joins the fight with rufus uh, just build up two atbs and hit him with a magnified wind uh, it will like magnified eroga the strongest wind attack it will almost obviously stagger him and once he staggered uh, go in for the kill hit him build up your atp and use it again and that's it you will not have to worry about dark star anymore and that will also do some damage on rufus and then he will be really close to like you are going to be really close to finishing him off this fight might take a few tries this fight is annoying this fight is a bit uh, on the hard side uh, but you can do it also uh, do note that you can just uh, stay away from him and press o and square to build up your atb if you are going uh, if you feel like you're low on atb that way he'll almost always block your attack so you will not be doing any damages but you will be building up atb so that is one way to play it a bit safe if that is what you want to do Oh, <laughs> 
to come up with the right plan of attack. <laughs> him? Not yet. First. We find Kate Sith, right? Right. 